All right. I am here in a, in a rural district in New York State that has almost it's what 40 49 point seven percent poverty rate okay so here's one of our children who in second grade this is the end of the year so we're we're you know we're at the end of March here and I'm sharing this story and the teacher here who would like to remain anonymous which is fine is sharing what this child can do because potentially she'll be retained because she does struggle in second grade mm -hmm. but what I'd like to show is what dedication to the common core and that teaching philosophy can do. So tell me about this child. Okay, so she is a possible retention. She does not have an understanding of place value. She still is confusing tens and ones um, and what that even means. But, you know, we work with her every day, and she's still able to get a lot of the higher level things like the problem solving. So show solving me the problem pieces. solving. That's, that's, the, that's where I, I want to make this and video a clip. A lot of our yeah. low kids, our ESL kids, our special, our special ed, ed kids. kids, and those kids that possibly will be retained can do this and so this in this particular case look at this here we've got we've got a story here about Jack mm -hmm. who has 16 big pencils and 48 little pencils and he put them all in a box how many pencils are in the box so this child you've just described that has trouble with place value was able to do this independently yes completely on their own this one it was shocking because this is hard and this is hard, so keep in mind this Number is a second three, grade problem. Because yeah, this you don't is the know one. what they start with. Correct. So a lot of kids confuse that and would subtract, typically, and she still has that understanding that she knows. She was able to draw a beautiful bar mm -hmm. model and tell exactly how many. This is wonderful. Yep. And this is what we can do. So here's a child that, even though place value is difficult, is able to model it. Wow. Yep. Wow. And then this one she did struggle with, but her explanation, she knew she was counting by fives. She just couldn't. So go in this on case, past okay, let me I didn't show you the, the chart. chart. Here's Marco and he's counting jelly beans. And there's the pattern. And she knew to count up by fives. She did struggle with where to start. But you can see here, and I'm and, and I would probably pause the video at this point. But you can see here what this child is able to do. Mm -hmm. So that is what our kids are capable of, even in second grade, if we persevere. Yep.